Hello fellow hunters, welcome to the channel and today's video. Hopefully you all had great holidays and a good start in the new year. A few weeks ago I got a comment asking about making a video on rabbits, hares and their locations. And so we have a topic for today's video. Personally I think hunting hares and rabbits in Huntsim 2 is extremely annoying for several reasons. I collected the required trophies back then to unlock the achievement and ignored these animals after that. My main criticism is that the game lacks a proper small caliber rifle for this purpose. The only legal weapons for rabbits and hares are shotguns and bows or the crossbow. So we have almost no chance to hunt these animals from a tower over a longer distance. On the ground they are very fast and hard to spot. Thankfully there are no legendary specimens and so I never considered making a video about it. But today we close the gap and I show you easy locations to find all 5 species without sacrificing your sanity. But first I would like to address another question that reached me recently about camouflage and clothing. Here you can see the combination I actually use for every hunt and it works quite well to get close to shy animals like rabbits. Some of the equipment comes from the Bear Hunter Pack DLC so don't be surprised if something is not available without the add-on. Everything I show in this video happens in the morning time slot. And for the weapon, grab the shotgun of your choice, it doesn't really make a difference which model you choose. So let's get started. We begin in Pawnee Meadows with the first one, the snowshoe hare. Sneak carefully around the eastern camp until you see a white ball of fluff hopping in the grass. It should not be a problem to find one quickly, there are usually quite a few to be found at the same time. The next one was a little harder to find until I discovered this location. We traveled to Roosevelt Forest searching for a jackrabbit hare. From the main cabin we head a little southwest. They are often found here and quickly we got our second hare. The third species can be found in Bandera region. Fast travel to the northeastern tent and then go a bit to the north. Here is Cottontail Rabbit territory. For the last two species we move to the marshlands. The tower at the northwestern tent is well known from our pheasant nightmare. If we sneak around in the area it doesn't take long until we find a European rabbit. Sometimes they come so close to the tower that we even get a rare chance to hunt them from above. For the brown hare we travel to the eastern camp and take a closer look at the area behind the small forest. The spot is reached quickly and so all five species are complete. Often you come across a brown bear right next to the tent and so you can take a few easy credits along the way. It is up to you if you want to take one of the dogs as a companion for hunting rabbits and hares. I always take a dog with me but I let him sit in some distance when I reach the target area. So I avoid that animals get spooked, but in case I need to follow a blood trail I have a helpful companion with me. As you can see, it can be relatively easy to finish this rather annoying part of the trophy collection fast and without losing your sanity. And that brings us to the end of our rabbit and hare guide video. For questions and feedback leave me a comment below. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave me a like and subscribe. Thank you for your support.